awful heavy. I still remember the look on his face after that one. <clears throat> so that went fine. I would say. The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. Bastion's a place of peace, but we can hold our own if we have to. Let's try to bow some more. Ain't much kid can handle with hammer and bow in hand. Calamity took everybody after all. Kid sees a plane, frozen faces all around. You don't much care to see him. Not like this. These folks never saw the calamity coming, but someone did. Someone close. Someone who ain't like Mr. Beckley and his kindly wife. It was someone like him. Kid sees him there agape in the flesh. It's a snag or two trying to get to him. He ain't about to stop. No matter what. He's got so many questions after all. Just ain't got time for answers. The Tunder brothers didn't make it. They never saw what it was like beyond the walls. Nordy the bird boy didn't make it. The Jawsons, they didn't make it. Grady Senior, Grady Junior, they didn't make it. But him, he survived.
kid finds proof enough that man ain't from around here. Just think, without that man, we wouldn't be here right now, would we? The core survives as well. Kid does what he has to do. And then, what do you say to a man who's seen too much? Kid hasn't a clue, but he says this. We have to go. Please. He's a proper gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. No hiding he's an Ura. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind both to him and to each other for the first time. Folks voyaged across the boundless sea to found Ceylandia. It was good living here for a while. We fought the Ura decades ago, but that was then. Things are different between us now. We ain't much for pleasantries. For Zolf, Ceylandia was like a second home. He's real worried about his first home, too. Far to the east. We all lost loved ones in the calamity, he says. I don't know how I'm gonna go on without mine. He was born in the Tazel Terminals. The Ura sent him on a mission of peace to our city, and he's lived here ever since. Kid ain't finished here yet. The cores, they remember. That's why this place is coming together. That's why things are gonna be all right. Back to the old world and earn it in kind. near the edge of the city. No use praying to the gods these days. No time for it either. Kid says a little prayer anyway. Couldn't hurt, right? used to make pilgrimage here to pay their respects to Pith, the bull. Well, the gods are long gone now, and the Orchard Corps is long gone too. Seems Pith ain't much of a watchdog. Pith stood for something once. Something real. 
in time, though, the bull stopped being a symbol and started being decoration. He couldn't even save his loyal subjects. Piff makes a decent scarecrow, at least. Then Piff lights up like a rodeo. Ain't easy punching through his hide. Kid breaks into bits. Must have been guarding that shrine. So what'll it be? Invoke the gods, or tell them off? Piv. <laughs> okay, so the only thing that happens if I do that is that the enemy is stronger. And nothing else. Because there's no XP bonus and there's no fragment bonus. Okay, good deal. Kid don't need favors from the likes of Piv. Well, if the gods are alive, they must be plenty sore. of kid tampered with that shrine. The gods don't care about trinkets, but the kid ain't no god. Oh. shrine of our own, though I got some alternatives in mind. Zolf doesn't touch the thing. Says the god of commotion is no children's toy. Kid says hello, but Zolf's lost in thought. Turn him round and round all you like. It's still gonna be ugly. <laughs> the Ura feared the gods. We turned them into toys, put their faces on our walls. We talk a little here and there.
there's only one way into Cinderbrick Fort. The hard way. Sure, the city marshals may be gone, but now the fort's crawling with windbags. The calamity was mercy, normal folks. The windbags ain't so lucky. They've been left to freeze, or starve, or face the kid. Something that'll punch clean through their greasy hides. Windbags ain't much different from normal folks. All they want's a warm place to stay and a decent meal. supplies, but the kid sure can. As for the windbags, Cinderbrick gave them enough heat and metal to munch on for a while. Well, the fort ain't theirs by right. Can't blame them for wanting it, though. with that new fangled musket.
a squirt lure at the ready in case things turn sour. The windbags put the kid on notice. Aww. Marshall's badge, but not like this. And now ain't nothing left for nobody down at Cinderbrook Fort. Kid shows up just as Ulf's telling me about his own journey to the city. Seems the only thing the Calamity saved for Zolf was his smoking pipe. Poor kid collapses after just one drag. The past. Only good thing ever come out of the past is history. say he's led a hard life. Supposing what he says in his sleep ain't no lie. He never knew 
his old man, but he had his mama to take care of. Frail thing with pure white hair like his. heir to the kid no favors while he was growing up, but he learned to hold his own out there. signs up for a turn on the rippling walls. Make his mama some money. Thanks to folks like the kid, the walls kept Ceylonia safe from whatever's out there. The elements, the aura, you name it. Turns out his mama's time was done too. Sending home was nowhere to be found either. Kid do 